call it. Um, Prince, Prince Charming? <laughs> I don't want a Prince Charming. I want it rough and ready. But... No, no, no. See, this is the, the thing. I think that's what you need. You know what you need? This is what you need. You need to find the geekiest, the geekiest dude, like an IT guy or something like that. You need to find the geekiest dude ever. Like, leave the rough and tumble guys alone. You need to find no. the geek. Well, I said that wrong. Mm. I need, but I, but I know, I know what you mean by that. I can, I know you exactly I what you mean by it. Man. Yeah. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I know exactly what kind of man. Most people, like, I know exactly what type of man that you're talking about. But I think what you need is a geek, one of those I'll really be, geeky guys. I'll be real with you. Mm. That is my downfall. If a nice man comes in front of me. And you see, this is what I speak about on my TikTok. Yeah. And you should never let your past trauma interfere with you moving forward. Yeah. yeah. But some scars don't heal properly. No. And they're always going to be there. They so are. So obviously, if you meet somebody and they understand it, it's about building and understanding and communication. That's how it moves forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, obviously, because of what I've been through and put myself through, some scars are never gonna heal. I'm gonna be real with you; they're never gonna be, never gonna yeah. heal. Yeah. You know, and I've had it where I've had a lovely man come in front of me. Mm -hmm. You know, really, really, really nice man. Yeah. I took the piss out of him. I ran wings around him. Yeah. I've seen. I could. Yeah. That is bad for me to say. I mm -hmm. should not say that, mm -hmm. but I'm honest and I'm open. Yeah. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cut it off. I'm going to end up hurting you. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Because I can't handle that. Mm. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I think it's obviously that's a, that's a process and it's very easy. It's very easy for people to look at it and say, you know, it's the kind of men you're going for. That's obviously you go. You go for certain types of men. You're gonna. They tend to have. Well, you'll you'll know. Your past experience tells you the sets. You type the type of men you go for have the same sort of traits, same sort of personality traits, same sort of things. You know. So that might be something you need. You need to look at. But you know, it's it's gonna take time for you to sort of adjust into it as well. Sort of things. Obviously, you're used. To, you, you everyone's got their type and stuff like that. You know, and got their got their icks if you've got a, some and nowadays m nowadays men men nowadays but especially the younger generation they're not really men they're they're really they're, they're really feminine and shit so it's like it's i shouldn't really say i've got to be careful what i say on youtube but you know <laughs> but you know there's a lot of men that are like so soft you're right mm. like because i'm so like i'm upbeat I carry myself, I've got my shit in place. Like, I see some of these men and I'm like, I'm more masculine than you. Like, <laughs> sort it out with your skinny jeans and your Botox and all that. Like, sort it with me a man. Mm. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to insult anybody. If anybody's yeah. watching this, yeah. Yeah. and you do that, that's yeah. your own business. But me personally... No, mm. I like my man out in the garden getting his hands dirty, not going to the beauty shop getting his nails done and mm. having both and all that. Mm. No, that's not me. So, so you have you? So maybe like you need to go through like a process of um, ex like just slowly accepting different different. I don't I don't know. You know, you can get rough. You can get like there are nice guys out there. Did you know? Um, there's probably loads of guys out there that would love to have a woman like you, loyal woman that's willing to. Stay at home and cook and clean. Your your role, your role that you said you wanted. <laughs> now I'm in the process of getting my shit patterned up. You know, obviously. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I'm, college, I'm training to be an electrician. You mm. know, I'm wanting to do all that now. You know, so you either come to me and build 